was up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review episode 19 of season 3 of Arrow, and this episode is entitled Broken Arrow. So what this episode is basically about, Roy's now in jail for pretending he was the Arrow and saying, you know, I'm the Arrow and stuff. And, you know, Oliver's dealing with this grief that Roy's in jail for taking something that he's done. And a metahuman, yes, that's right, a metahuman is now in Starling City. Basically, the Arrow can't stop him because he's, of course, on the fugitive uh, thingamajig. And so now the Adam must stop this may human. Oh yeah, spoilers, by the way, yeah. So, what did I think of this episode? I really enjoyed this episode. This was a pretty good episode, so I enjoyed it. So let's get into my positives, and my positives are the acting in this episode. The acting was great, you know, I felt uh, some emotion uh, throughout this episode, you know, Oliver's dealing, like I said, Oliver's dealing with grief, that the fact that Roy's in jail because he pretended he was the arrow and stuff. Roy is like, you know, I need, I, I want to save your life now. You know, you saved my life a while back, and now I'm here to save yours. Detective Lance is still crazy as uh, usual, and he's just basically, you know, he's still thinking that Oliver is the arrow. He's like searching around the his house and everything. You know, the fight scene where Roy's in the prison, I thought that was pretty cool. Writing was pretty good with this episode. The flashbacks I did enjoy. We find out that it wasn't Amanda Waller that send, that's that been sending these assassins after after Oliver and Mosasu. That's right. Boom, I finally remembered. Those are uh, the assassins she's been... Uh, it wasn't her. It was actually the colonel. That's right. It was the colonel that kept... That's basically he want the, that the colonel wanted to blow up China and everything. They have to stop him now. So yeah, the flashbacks were pretty cool as well. The directing was pretty good with this episode. My only two negatives were this episode. With this episode were the action. This episode wasn't really filmed that well. They do this Taken Three style, like the cut every single like close up cut cut. I, I can't stand that. It is so terrible. And why does this show need it? They don't. This felt like episode 14 all over again of season 3. And I felt like the action was just bad in this episode. I don't like when they keep on doing this. You know, we're going to kill a character off. But no, we're going to bring him back to life in the next, like, two seconds. Like, Roy gets stabbed. And I thought, I thought they were actually going to kill him. But then Roy comes back and he's and he's all fine and everything but it was still emo he wasn't dead so it was still emotional because he he's going on his way he's leaving Starling City so Roy so I guess Colin Haynes is no longer a series regular he's gonna be back to a minor character and then towards the end of the episode Thea gets stabbed but you know they showed in the pr in the preview for the next week's episode Apparently, she's going to be put in the Lazarus Pit, which looks like the Lazarus Pit, and she's going to be brought back to life, and I'm like, no, what? Couldn't we? And you know, I, I just don't like that. Besides those negatives, I really enjoyed this episode. My official grade on episode 19 is an A-. minus. So what did you guys think of this episode? Leave in the comment section below, and I'm WWE Fan 0599 and we'll see you all later. Peace.